This is Mon Health Talk, a weekly program focusing on the dedicated physicians, nurses, and staff at Mon Health, the region's premier community hospital system. People with skillful hands and bright minds using state of the art technology. We don't just practice medicine, we care for people like family. That's why at Mon Health you can feel the difference. Once again, welcome to this edition of Mon Health Talk. And good morning. Welcome into the program, Mon Health Talk. I'm Dave Wilson. Our topic this morning will be OBGYN. And joining us new to the program is Dr. Marley Greshner, OBGYN with Mon Health, OBGYN in Morgantown and Fairmont. Uh, good morning, Dr. Greshner. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes. Uh, we get to know a lot of physicians, and we have a lot who've been on the show several times. But we got a brand new guest today. I'm happy to get the chance to talk to you. But first, we've got to learn a little bit about you. So uh, uh, kind of uh, just go through your background. Where are you from? Where'd you go to school? And uh, how did you end up here with uh, Mon Health? Yeah, thanks again. So I'm really excited to be here. I, um, I'm originally from Cambridge, Ohio, which is about two hours away. So it's great being that close to family. I went to undergrad in Dayton, Ohio, and medical school in Athens, Ohio at OU. And I completed my residency for OBGYN in Columbus, Ohio with Ohio Health at Doctors Hospital and Grant Medical Center. Um, So my husband and I actually ended up moving to Florida last year. We worked there. Um, We missed our family back home, though, and living in the Midwest. So we were like, "We're, we're coming back. He has a lot of family in Wheeling, West Virginia. And again, my family is close. And we found great job opportunities here. And here we are, and we are loving it. So you just recently joined. So how, how long have you been at Mon Health now? Uh, we, I started in August. Oh, wow. Rec- yeah, very recently then. Yeah. Uh, what, yep. what drew you to medicine uh, when you were all the way back in the day, which may not be that long ago, but when you were considering career options, what drew you to medicine? You know, I, I grew up very close to my grandmother, actually, and, and she had a lot of health issues growing up, and I, I just kind of was taking care of her growing up and in and out of the hospital, and just through that experience, um, that's kind of what led me to, you know, wanting to take care of people and, and help them. And then the specialty, really, I discovered I loved that once I was in medical school doing the rotation through all the different specialties. OBGYN is a great a great variety and allows for continuity of care with your patients. So that's what drew me to the field. So where do you see patients? I mentioned you're in Morgantown and Fairmont. So do you see patients in both locations? Yes, I see uh, both uh, locations in Morgantown and Fairmont. I'm actually in Fairmont today. Um, So we see patients in both of those locations. Are you accepting new patients at this time? Are you uh, are you full? Uh, how's the schedule? <laughs> yes, I'm accepting new patients. I see patients from adolescence to menopause um, throughout the lifespan, really. So, yes, accepting new patients. <laughs> you know, we were just talking, and for a variety of reasons, and I won't draw you, draw you into all those reasons here on the show, but we were talking last week about uh, there's probably actually a shortage of OBGYN services in the state of West Virginia and in certain areas. So why is it important to expand those uh, services for women in, in this area and around the state of West Virginia? Yeah, it's, it's so important to expand access to patients in those areas, you know, especially underserved areas without you know, specialists nearby or, or even access you know, really to primary care providers. Um, OBGYNs can often serve as, as uh, women's primary care provider. Um, so, you know, being able to expand access to care allows for, you know, not only um, those problem visits that patients may be having, but just general health and preventative care as well. Our guest this morning is Dr. Marley Greshner, OBGYN with Mon Health, OBGYN in Morgantown and Fairmont. We'll continue our conversation. Got to squeeze in a quick break first. You're listening to Mon Health Talk on the Voice of Morgantown, WAJR. Now back to Mon Health Talk, a discussion of the issues, people, and procedures in healthcare today. If you have a question for one of our healthcare guests, call now at 304 296 0041. Our guest this morning, Dr. Marley Greshner, OBGYN, Mon Health, 
OBGYN in Morgantown and Fairmont. And uh, Dr. Greshner, uh, probably one of the most common questions you get is at what age uh, should a woman start seeing uh, a gynecologist OBGYN? So I'll pose that question to you. What's the age that uh, is there a hard, fast age or does it vary? So the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists actually recommend the initial reproductive health visit uh, between the ages of 13 and 15. So the primary goal of this is to, again, provide preventative services and educational information um, and also problem-based care. So, um, you know, these young patients and adolescents, it, it provides an opportunity to discuss, you know, general health. Um, it provides opportunity to counsel them on, you know, changes of puberty and menstruation, as well as um, the opportunity to provide guidance and education for sexual health as well. Uh, so that is actually the recommended um, age um, that a patient should should see us. And again, I see patients from adolescence um, up to menopause. I, I'm sure you get those those first time patients, and there's there's apprehension because the unknown is is always scary, right? Uh, so, what is a, a typical yeah. first visit like the the first time you meet a young patient? Yeah, definitely. Um, typically, uh, for those visits, you know, usually a parent um, or guardians present initially. We have you know conversations with them present, and usually with you know, with the patient alone as well to just kind of establish rapport, um, provide those educational opportunities, and, you know, provide the confidence for those patients, um, you know, to just to, to get established with an OBGYN and feel comfortable having those, those discussions. Um, typically, examinations actually aren't usually necessary for patients of that age, more so just to, again, become comfortable with with those topics and, you know, providing education is the primary goal. So that's kind of what those visits look like. With a lot of the topics we discuss here on, on the program, uh, a lot of times the the visit or the consultation with the doctor, whatever the case may be, ends with the patient going, oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> and yeah. I, and uh, yeah. I, it's probably the same with you, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Uh, I definitely think, you know, coming to the gynecologist is, you know, something that everybody gets a little bit anxious about and, and nervous. But, you know, per, get, establishing rapport with the patients and making them feel comfortable um, and just going over everything that you're planning to discuss and do, I think, you know, it helps people feel a little bit better. And you're right. Most people at the end think that's not not so bad. <laughs> Talking to uh, Dr. Marley Greshner, OBGYN with Mon Health. Uh, you mentioned you see patients, you know, from from their very first visit to the office uh, all through all stages of life. So, uh, how does your care evolve uh, for patients as they evolve through life? Yeah, definitely. So, from you know, women transitioning from childhood to you know, reproductive age, young adulthood, and menopause. They're going through, you know, different changes, both physical, mental, and social. So our care has to, you know, adapt and change as well. So, again, those, the care of adolescents, again, focuses a lot on the changes of puberty, sexual education, as, um, as patients age, reproductive age women. A lot of our care includes preconceptual care pregnancy, you know, prenatal care, labor and delivery, and then all the way up through stages to menopause. So, you know, depending on the patient's age and the risk factors, you know, those things will affect your care. So menopausal changes, those life changes, breast cancer screening. So, again, we take care of women um, from adolescence to menopause through all their different stages of life um, and all the problems that may come with that. And, and not that you can't start seeing a patient when they're, you know, a uh, grown adult in the mid-40s, 50s, whatever, but uh, having but having that rapport that you mentioned, building that from, from uh, you know, that first visit and having that trust uh, certainly is only going to enhance that care later in life, isn't it? Yes, definitely. That's, again, why, you know, American College of OBGYN recommends having that initial visit at a young age. Um, you know, it provides that education, but also allows the patient to establish that, you know, comfort with that type of provider. Our guest this morning is Dr. Marley Greshner, OBGYN with Mon Health, OBGYN in Morgantown and Fairmont. Got to take another break. We'll continue our conversation with Dr. Greshner. 
in just a moment. You're listening to Mon Health Talk on WAJR. This is Mon Health Talk, providing a window into the Mon Health system and the dedicated health care providers who work there. If you'd like to comment or ask a question, please call 304 296 0041. Talking to doc, uh, Dr. Marley Gresner, Mon Health OBGYN in Morgantown and Fairmont. And uh, Dr. Gresner, does Mon Health OBGYN offer comprehensive approach for women uh, pregnant, trying to get pregnant, new moms, the whole gamut there? Yeah, so we see patients for both for preconceptual care who are, you know, looking into becoming pregnant in the near future and providing health recommendations for them through their pregnancy for prenatal care, uh, labor and delivery, and through the postpartum period. We have a team-based approach. We work very closely with our nurse practitioners in the office, our nursing staff in the office, as well as on labor and delivery, and lactation consultants. So very comprehensive team-based approach I'm on. Pardon my uh, metaphor here, but I've used it 100 times on this show. I, I compare medical care to like to buying a car the the service doesn't end after you purchase the car there's you, you take it back you get it maintenance you you keep it up it, follow me here doc now follow me the same thing with with medical coverage and, and you can laugh and tell me i'm crazy if you like because maybe i am it doesn't end at a point it, it continues and there's comprehensive help and you don't have to go at it alone i guess is my uh Poor, uh, poor metaphor tries to display. I hope it works at, in some at some level, Doctor Greshner. Yeah, I agree. You're not crazy <laughs> at all. So. A good example of that is um, our patients on labor and delivery. Um, there's great lactation consultants as well as you know ourselves and the nurses um, helping with uh, breastfeeding and care of the newborn. But even after they're discharged, you know that that care doesn't end there. They can still um, they still have contact with those lactation specialists um, and, of course, postpartum care. So it never ends, you know, continuity, and it's, it's a great um, system and a great specialty to be in. Wow, you should hear my metaphor on how the heart and the carburetor are exactly alike, but we'll save that one for another day. We'll save that for another day. Uh, Mon Health Medical Center is considered a baby-friendly birth facility, uh, what does that mean exactly? Yeah, so I'll give you a little history. So in 1991, the World Health Organization launched this baby-friendly hospital initiative. So this is a global program. Um, it's to encourage broad-scale implementation of um, steps to help with successful breastfeeding. So it assists hospitals in giving moms information, the skills, confidence necessary to initiate and continue breastfeeding their babies. So in the hospital, you may hear, moms may hear the term rooming in. What that means is the baby stays in the rooms with mom after delivery as long as that's medically appropriate. We um, encourage skin to skin right after delivery and initiation of breastfeeding right away. And again, we have a team-based approach to help moms be successful with that and provide support. And like I mentioned a little bit previously, not this is not only while they're in the hospital, but this continues following discharge in the postpartum period as well. Yeah, a lot has changed uh, since, well, I guess since I was born or, you know, the old cartoons, the old shows of uh, dad waiting out in the waiting room, uh, nervous, and then, uh, you know, the babies go one place and mom goes the other direction afterward. Uh, a lot has changed. Uh, we've come a long way in the last uh, 30, 35 years, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. All the goals definitely to keep, you know, mom and baby together right away. And dad can do skin to skin, too. <laughs> oh, can they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Again, it- <laughs> I didn't. I had no idea. I've well, you know, I've not been in that situation to date. Let me put it that way. Let me put it that way. Uh, how can people get in touch with you? You said you're accepting new patients. You do. You see patients in Fairmont and Morgantown. So how how can people get in touch? Yeah. So again, we have locations in Morgantown, Fairmont. There are also mom locations in Hopwood, Kingwood, and Weston. Um, patients can schedule online at monhealth.com slash OBGYN or call any of our office locations. And uh, you see, you've been here since August. Uh, what 
has there been something that's pleasantly surprised you since uh, coming to the area? Oh, the area is beautiful. Um, just the, all the outdoor adventures in West Virginia are great. My husband and I have been spending a lot of time at Cooper's Rock with our dog and um, just exploring. And everyone here has been extremely welcoming and friendly. So we're, we're really enjoying it here. You know, a question we love to pose to uh, physicians when we get them on the show. What is the best part of your job? Um, I think the best part is my what attracted me to the job, really, you know, that moment of, of it's just complete joy when you, you know, see a family family face when you deliver a baby. And, you know, just getting to experience that moment with patients, it's really probably the most important, biggest day of their life. And, and like we've talked, the care doesn't end there. You get to continue to see them, follow them, and, you know, see them with their family that you helped bring into the world and take care of that patient. Yeah, that's got to be awesome. Has anybody named, uh, have there been any babies named Marley after you yet? Has that happened yet? So it has at my job last year and where I worked before. Um, same spelling and everything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I think that's yep. awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> we have a picture together. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dr. Marley Greshner, OBGYN, Mon Health, OBGYN in uh, Morgantown and Fairmont. Of course, you can always get more information on all the services available at Mon Health over at monhealth.com. Uh, .com. Uh, Dr. Greshner, thanks for joining us this morning. I appreciate it, enjoyed it, and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great day. You as well.